Hey, curious about Terraform Cloud and what it means with Azure? Join me and Kyle on the next episode of the DevOps Lab. Welcome to the DevOps Lab. Today, we've got Kyle from Terraform with us, and he's going to be talking to us about the Terraform Cloud. So, welcome to the show, Kyle. What do you do at Terraform? Thank you. Um, so, what I do uh, with HashiCorp and specifically Terraform is I do technical marketing. Very, very cool. So, what's this Terraform Cloud thing, and why do I care about it? So really what happens is that, you know, when, when you go out and you talk to people, everybody knows about what Terraform is. They, they have a good guiding principle of, you know, what infrastructure as code is. And, you know, but really, like, once they start using it, once they start learning it, we get to this point where, you know, what do we do with our state files? You know, do we mm -hmm. store those locally? Do we put that out somewhere in Azure? Do we, you know, what do we do with those things? Um, and so really what Terraform Cloud is aiming to do is, you know, kind of that issue, um, you know, pretty much open it up to enable teams to then collaborate together. So, you know, say if I'm configuring something and I go on vacation, you know, nobody else can go in and manage those those resources that I've provisioned. Um, so, you know, Terraform Cloud is is really the the one stop shop and and really the easy way to uh, to manage state um, across entire teams. Very cool. So, I'm having a little bit of trouble grasping exactly what it is. It kind of sounds like, all right, I know with Terraform I need to have the state file. It needs to sit somewhere. So, instead of me having to figure out where to save this. You guys will take care of it for us? Absolutely. We take care of the whole process. We can even actually run Terraform for you so that you don't have to run Terraform locally on your local system. Ah, that sounds pretty interesting. Can you show me what you're talking about? Absolutely. Let's dive right into the, to the console here. Okay, so here we are on the Terraform Cloud console. You know, this is this is something that's that's pretty new, um, but we have some things that really help guide you along to learning how to use this. Um, you know, if you check out this top portion right here, there's the Get Starting page, uh, which, you know, if we click on, it'll actually give you a whole bunch of steps that you can take to start using and consuming Terraform Cloud um, in, in a way that's not good for just you, but as well as your teams, too. Uh, so let me go back to our, our workspace here. This is kind of a demo that I've I've already set up so that we can kind of play and, and see, you know, what it takes to go from a uh, uh, an on-premises uh, Terraform configuration to running this all in Terraform Cloud. Okay. Um, so we're going to start off with creating a workspace. You know, a workspace is just somewhere where our, our configuration files live. Uh, so we're going to connect out to uh, to GitHub. There we go. I've already pre-populated a GitHub repo there with some configuration files. Um, if if we want to get a little crazy, we can even get into the advanced options to tell it, you know, okay, only modify or only trigger things um, upon necessary. But we don't need that for this. So we'll hit our create workspace section there. And then I'm going to run some magic behind the scenes here. So what is it doing here? Is it is it configuring everything it needs to? So right now it's not applying any of the configurations in particular. Right now it's importing all of those Terraform configuration <coughs> files so that on at the point in time where we need to to run our plan and run our apply, it's there and available for us. Uh, so I don't know about your configuration files, but a lot of mine involve variables. Mm -hmm. And so what and so what I've done is import a bunch of those variables already so that we can talk directly uh, into the Azure service. Cool. So now what we're going to be able to do is just simply create a resource group. So we can hit our queue plan. This is the very same thing as running it uh, locally, you know, just a Terraform plan. It's going to give us a nice graphical representation of what's happening. And then we can actually see the plan running here in particular. 
So it's going to take just a second, show you what it's going to be creating. You know, the end goal here is that we're going to create one resource object by the name of DevOps Lab underscore Ruddy. Cool. So then as soon as the plan is running, we can hit confirm and apply, and it's going to actually create those, uh, re create that resource for us. So then nice. So you're, you were right. I don't even have to run this locally, right? I can just do everything from your Terraform cloud. Absolutely. Cool. Yep. No local resources needed whatsoever. And what's happening now? You're oh, you're applying. Okay, got it. Yep. So right now it's it's doing the apply, and we mm -hmm. can go back and see that it added one resource. Then we can jump into our Azure portal here, refresh our resource groups, and. OK, and there we go. We have our, our DevOps lab underscore ruddy resource group. Cool. It is there. It's created, and, and we're ready to roll. So but I've got a question for you. Like, let's say I have my own CI, CD type of tool sets, right? Is there a way for me to call into your Terraform cloud to make it do things? Yes, absolutely. You can do things like webhooks that can send off uh, and, and say, you know, hey, it's time for you to run this plan, do this configuration. Um, and there, there's also another way that we can uh, start playing with it here, which mm -hmm. let's jump over to our configuration here. This was just a really simple configuration that I used uh, just a second ago. And we're going to go ahead and create a, a managed disk. You know, something fairly simple. Uh, you know, not really resource intensive. Mm -hmm. So we've added that in over here. Thanks to Visual Studio Code, it's going to add in uh, and, and let us update this in our source control out there in GitHub. And we're going to push that up to GitHub real quick. And while that's going, we can jump right back over to our Terraform Cloud console here. And... As soon as GitHub sees that it has a new uh, a new push going, now we have a brand new run um, and apply that's running right now, right off the bat, just from uh, uh, doing that push into into GitHub. Cool. Very cool stuff. So just like that, it's very automated, very easy to uh, to integrate into your CI/CD pipelines. Um, and, and, you know, this also, you know, controls the state for you and, you know, anybody within your work group can can start accessing it. Yeah, this really kind of simplifies uh, using Terraform, uh, especially if I'm like building a lot, out a lot of stuff into Azure. This is um, this is great stuff. Absolutely. Yeah, we, right. we love it internally. And, uh, you know. All the feedback that we've heard is really great as well. So I, I can't wait for, for everybody to start making use of this as well. Okay. I can't wait to dive in and really start playing with this to see what I can really do with this. Man, this looks like fantastic stuff. Just harnessing the power of Terraform Cloud and with Azure, I think I could do a lot of really, really cool things there. So viewers, if you want to learn more, go ahead, check out these links down below, and we will see you next time on the DevOps Lab.